And good morning, football. Cardinals quarterback Kyler Murray has been facing criticism ever since the media found out that he, he everybody found out that he had an independent study clause in his contract. The clause has since been removed. However, now even his teammates are speaking out about his leadership qualities. Take a listen to his offensive lineman, Kelvin Beecham. There's a lot of criticism of Kyler. Mm -hmm. What does he have to do, in your opinion, to be great? Grow up. Give me an example. Be a man and grow up. Like, it's not... It's not complicated. You got to be a leader of men, period. And he's not right now. He's maturing. But he's not there yet. He's not there. It's not, it's there not, a, it's not a completed process. It's not, it's not a completed process. Be it's, a leader of men. He's got all the tools, you think? He has all the tools, man. If some guy can throw off one leg, he can, you know, throw it a mile. He can run faster than anybody else on the field. He just lacks the leadership. He's put together. I didn't say he lacks the leadership. I just think he needs to grow up a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and I think if he has the ability and the willingness to grow up, he's going to be just fine. Uh, just for some clarity, uh, Kelvin Beecham, he's played for the Steelers, yep. he's played for the Jaguars, now for the Cardinals, he's the father of three, uh, so he's established. What do we think about this? I think that Kyler Murray is an easy target in the media and has been for a long time, mm -hmm. much to his own responsibility. It's coming from a teammate, coming from a teammate who is incredibly smart, intelligent, insightful, and it's, it's, it hits like a ton of bricks. This is a huge, loaded comment that none of us are surprised by. I, I always think at this point in, this, in his career, Kyler Murray, it's a football shame. I, I, I hate that it's gone this way. Kyler Murray is every bit as talented as Patrick Mahomes and maybe even more. He should be the NFC's Mahomes. He should be the new wave, the new, like, I play different, I look different, I carry myself different, I'm a different wave, I am the future face of the league. And it's hard enough to do that just football-wise, athletically. And then you start to hear that, yeah, he needs to grow up. Do you know how patronizing that comment is to another adult, another professional athlete, to say it multiple times, and to have no one in the world think that you're wrong? It's compelling and strong as hell. Micah, what do you think? Uh, you know, I've, I've never met Kevin Beecham. Um, I know he's a well-respected, like you just said. Uh, I just think it's one of those situations, something said, something meant. Um, you know, he, he said that, that, you know, being one of the, I'm sure, the leaders of the team. Um, you know, I'm not in that locker room to, I never met Kyler Murray either, so I, don't, I can't really speak on it. Um, but I just feel like uh, to have a good team, you got to have a good locker room. And if that's, if that's what's being said, it needs to be fixed. Listen, that stuff that came out last summer about the contract was ugly, and it was he, Kyler took strange ownership of it when he showed up at his next press conference with, like, a cash T-shirt on. It's like, I have the money. You don't get to disparage me like this. No, man. Like, you got paid. You're the face of a franchise, and now you have a teammate 10 months later who he's not saying this because, oh, he thinks that... He's saying this now, a.k.a. it really hasn't changed since that entire thing went down last summer. It's, it's fascinating, but also necessary. Yeah, I felt like... So we've heard the little dribs and drabs and media suggestions, but no one's really put a voice to it. Commentators, former players have said it, but no one on the team, Patrick Peterson, I guess, did, but then sort of reeled it back in. Oh, we're cool. We're, we're, we're boys. Uh, for Beecham to say that, and now they're going to be in the locker room together, mm -hmm. uh, and for Beecham to have the kind of respect that he does, not just in that locker room, but league-wide, like, all right, Kyler, it's, you know, it's on you now. Is he going to have a response to this, he, or is he playing multiplayer? Like, what are we doing? Well, he shouldn't. He shouldn't respond to it publicly. He he should just show up, do his work, and but make sure that he reaches. To me, the best players, and and you got to be when you're the quarterback. You got to be able to reach every corner of the locker room. That's it. I saw I Tom Brady do it yep. when Tom Brady was 40, and the guy in the corner is 21. They got nothing in common other than they play football, right? He comes from this background. You come from something completely different. But Tom could bridge the gap. Josh Allen does it. You were telling us, hey, Josh, the guys come over after games to Josh's house. Um, Kyler Murray's got to be that guy. Mm -hmm. He's got to find some maturity here growing up. I think that's a huge thing. The money thing. Like, mm -hmm. dude, what have you done? You haven't done anything yet. You're the number one pick. You haven't won a playoff game. Mm -hmm. And now you got people questioning whether you're really committed to the football game. Be, be committed to it because you have the talent. Every single ex or current player I've ever talked to on or off the air has the same feeling about Kyler Murray. Every single person in the media does. And now, like, one of his most respected teammates. I think he should respond publicly. I think he should do it in the next five minutes. <laughs> All what right. could he say that would satisfy that? It's something defensive himself and as a leader. I'm not going to write it for him. Write it yourself, Kyler. Yep. All right.